Look, so I know you don't want to get set when you're playing. You don't want to get ahead of yourself. It's one week at a time. I get all that. But Cardinals have an opportunity here now at four and four. The next two week are home. Or next two weeks are our home games against the Bears and the Jets. Not not easy. And I would say, you know, the Bears probably even a little bit tougher because the Jets just seem to be a mess right now. Yeah. But it's it's entirely possible if you do this right, you could be six and four going into the bye week, and that would set you up really nice. Yeah, I think it's significant. I think it's a huge opportunity they have. Right again, as you said, you're in that locker room and you're not focused on, you know, what does it look like get going into the bye? You worried about today's practice, third down, how I'm gonna attack this third down bears, you know, uh defense or offense, special teams. Uh, fr- from that perspective, but I ain't in the locker room no more, right? I'm coaching. So, <laughs> as a coach, you're looking at, okay, yep. GM, right? You're looking at, okay, we just won some good games, right? Our team is growing, right? Hopefully, what we just saw out of Kyler and, and the MHJ is going to continue, right? McBride, that is, he's still balling out there. And we have James Conner, right, who didn't have the best game last week, but those other two guys balled out. We we can go, we can beat the Bears. They're coming to us, we can beat the Bears. Obviously, you just said the Jets. We can go and beat the Jets. They come to us as well and then be able to go into that bye week, get healthy, right, feeling good, and have two weeks to go up to Seattle and beat a team that's always hard to beat in Seattle, but they're a division opponent, yeah. and it's been done before. And set yourself up to where you really take a stronghold of this division. And I think they they have the ability to do it. Um, and so I think they just need to get a little bit more healthy on defense and they'll be right in that right spot. But that's what I want to see this Arizona Cardinals team do is take advantage of these moments because you don't always get these moments. Because just think about where we were at, I don't know, let's say three weeks ago. Man, yeah. That's a week and a half ago. Yeah, one and four, you know, <laughs> yeah. or, you know, yeah. two and three, you know. Yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> what does that look like? Now you can, okay, we have an opportunity. Let's not waste it, right? Not like I have to panic, but there has to be some intentionality and a sense of urgency, urgency yeah. so we can be ahead of schedule a little bit. Why not go to the playoffs this year? Why not? Yo. Why not win a division this year, right? Some teams have left you some openings. Yeah, obviously, we know the Niners are still the Niners. They're going to get healthy. We know the Rams are still the Rams, right? But you have an opportunity because of what you've done earlier this season to position yourself to really make November, December December be something for like winning the division, let alone just maybe getting into the wild card playoff spot. So for anybody that is listening right now and may not know this, um, what will confidence do? for this football team from a team perspective. Is there such a thing as collective confidence to you? I I think there is. I because and it's and it's from this in this sense, right? I I know we're professionals, but we're all human when we're in that building. And when you're not winning, especially, you know, it's cold. It's cold in Arizona right now. I know it's only 60 degrees, but I'm cold, right? <laughs> I was freezing you're last night. Yeah, cold. I'm just going to say. The season gets longer. Soft as butter in the microwave right? on a high you don't, set to 45 seconds. Right, right. <laughs> the preparation that you experience when you're winning versus not winning is is just different, right? Because, oh, I'm coming to work, man. We What, what, what are we? We're 4-8 and eight versus, oh, no, we're 7-3. and three. We got a chance to win a division, right? So I, by winning breeds that confidence. Confidence, which then makes people just dive in more to it because they understand what's at stake. Because everybody wants to get a chance to get into the dance, get to the playoffs, and have an opportunity to win a Super Bowl. And that's the only way you can think as a player. But players are players, too, and they realize, man, we don't really got a shot. So it's just different. So I think the growth of this football team would be much better if they find a way to win these next two games. Young guys, old guys, collectively, the intensity is there, right? You got something to play for is there. The, the, the division play, is, all of that is still there. And hope is a great catalyst for, you know, just <laughs> yes. taking that next step. So yes. I think it, I think it would be significant for a lot of different reasons. And then obviously with JG and Monty, from a culture standpoint, it, lock, it, it even tightens that more ingrained because what we're doing, what we're talking about, how we practice and how we work, how we sleep and how we're thinking, all that, that this perspective, this vision that they gave us is working and it's put us in a good place. So it just mm-hmm. solidifies what you know what I already kind of what I already believe in as far as what I've seen from the leadership of this football team. So Mel, will you go ahead and rip what he just said and put that in the audio file for this show? Thank you. <laughs> I'm just saying that no now. because you nailed it right there. It, it really is something that I think a lot of fans don't 
truly understand. Yeah. You know, confidence is so important, I think, individually yep. for each guy that is out on the foot. If you're not confident that you're going to be able to go out there and play well, boy, it's going to be hard. Yeah. I'm just telling you, it's going to be hard because it is hard to go out there on the field and actually perform. There's going to be many times you're going to fail on a, on a football field and in a football game. The individual confidence is really important, but man, so is the collective as well, because there's there's goodness in knowing that if I just do my job, we're good enough to win. Period. So the uh, the part of this that really is is interesting to me is you've got guys and Kyler Murray kind of he brought up the complacency aspect the other day of just we're not going to be complacent. You've got guys on this team that were here when they were seven and zero, and then ten and two, and then everything just fell apart. And and they're like they're your biggest leaders too. I mean, Kyler Murray, Buddha, James Connor. Right. How do you think that plays here as we get into the second half? Because they do have an opportunity. Not that I think guys would be complacent, but just more like, hey, the second half can be tougher than the first half. Well, of course, because I've I've been on a team that's six and two and went two and six, and we missed the playoffs. Yeah. So, but I think the biggest difference is not Buddha or Connor; it's Kyler. Right. He's mm. been through an injury. He's he's changed. He's shifted. Right. And that's the difference in that football team was Kyler's mentality, right? And what he used to be, and now he's someone new. And with this newness, he understands and I think has a better appreciation of how hard it is to win this league and not being complacent, right? Mm -hmm. Because he's been at the bottom. You know, he's been 7-0 or 7-1 or whatever, not make the playoffs, come back, tears ACL, and is out for the year and come back eight games. So he's been through some stuff since then that I think has given him a different perspective of what a professional looks like, what a leader looks like, and uh, how hard it is to win the league. Now, is he a finished product? No, but he's much better, much better place from my perspective as far as leading this playoff team and not allowing other people because now he's doing it. So now when his words, if he speaks, it means something different um, because he's a different person. And I think a lot of those guys that may have known the old Kyler aren't necessarily here either anymore yeah. in a sense too that that you have you have a lot of younger guys that are on this team that that's playing for him too I think which also helps so right now where do you think the Arizona Cardinals need to improve the most right now going forward R rush defense rush defense. I'm, a, I'm a, this rush de if you can't stop that especially yeah. when it gets colder and you may have to go on the road and let's say they are a, a, a wild card team and you got to go somewhere cold and they're going to run the ball down you your throat. You know it. Uh, you better be able to stop the run. Later in the year, I don't know. I got to look at their schedule. I don't know if they play back east or in some of these cold weather cities, rainy city, cities, right? You got to be able to stop the run. And that's the most demoralized. You talk about confidence. You think you want the thing that's going to take your confidence away quicker? Yep. When I line up across from you and I'm going to run the ball 20 times in a row and I've been a part of this, so I know what it feels like. <laughs> and, you like it. and you can't stop it. It sounds like personal experience. And you can't stop it. And guess what? And oh, if we can do that to you, guess what we're thinking yeah. on the other side? Oh, right. It's taking crap. two levels. Right. You know? So that's, for me, is going to be the biggest thing uh, because then it just changed the whole schematics of the game. Now the teams are in third and longs, right? Now you know they're passing. Now you give some of these guys that aren't premier rushers an opportunity to rush because they know what's going on uh, in the game. You give them more opportunities, right? Elite rushers typically have the ability to make um, – T take the moment at any time. It don't matter what it is. They don't need multiple chances. They just need that one, and I and I got you. When you're like an average rusher like me, I need to set you up for the whole game and then get my chance multiple times. Okay, now I got him. Boom. Yeah. That's they got more guys closer to me than they do like a a, a vintage Von Miller right in his prime or Aaron Donald right. Nobody on that roster is like that where they can just take over a game quite yet. They need multiple chances and they need to know. Okay, this is pass. I, here I go and I'm gonna give you my best move. That's Nobody's a good point. average who played 15 years. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> Double hey, digit man. sacks. Just I mean, saying, you heard man. the intro. Yeah. Nobody, bro. <laughs> yeah, Sit down. You got to so. have self awareness. Self aware. I'm, and it's relative, man. You know, relative. Compared to Von Miller, I'm a, just an average uh, guy. But if you no. put me on special teams, now we can talk something different. <laughs> if there was a Hall of Fame, hey, Bob, for you want to go, Bob? You would be in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Right? I would be in the Hall of Fame. Uh, it would be a ton of. B. Miss should be in the Hall of Fame. It's a ton of guys. Steve Tasker, right? Tasker. Yeah. If you want to talk By about the way, special Taz, teams, Taz ought to get in. He should. Uh, I think he ought to. He belongs in, man. He changed games. Oh yeah, he did for sure. I changed face masks. Just like, uh, <laughs> Matt, well, hopefully Matt Slater. We get on the Hall of Fame. Matthew Slater should be in the Hall of Fame as a special team. That's so right. So it's going to be interesting that, as we talk about that's that. That's going to happen, I believe. In. Yeah.
Because of the Patriots yeah, and, you yeah. know, the high profile. Then you got to let Steve in and then be mentioned. And hopefully, you know, maybe my kids can see me go in, you know, when I'm long and gone. Oh. And <laughs> yeah, I like where this is going. So, great stuff as always, man. Thank you, oh, so Appreciate, appreciate you, guys. you, man. Yep, love you. Thanks for watching Wolf and Luke. Tap to see more and click the button in the middle to subscribe to Arizona Sports.